Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 7th May. Not very different day from yesterday, just that the cuts were a lot deeper and a lot bigger. It's surprising that we are hardly 550 points away from the all-time highs. However, most of the retail portfolios are already looking battered. At this point, most of us cannot even think what will happen to their portfolios if markets fall 20% from now. Nifty has been down for 4 out of last 5 days. Bank Nifty has been down all of the last 5 days. IT index has been actually up last 2 days. These dashboards broke earlier today because there was a change at the end of the provider. If you see any issue, please let me know in the comments. Let, let me just contrast Indian market with US markets here. The right side, Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia, the last 5 days, if you leave aside the 5th day, the reds, it is mostly full of greens. On the other side, on the India side, besides IT, nearly everything has been fully red for the entire 5 days span. Reliance has been bleeding for last 4 days, another 1.5% down, that is a big, big cut. Today again, the Rescue Act was played by IT, TCS, Infosys, just like yesterday were up today as well. Gold is hovering around 71, 72,000, Brent is still around 84, Bitcoin is up a bit, nearing 65,000 yet again. Indian market started down from 22,500 levels. By 11 a.m., they had bottomed out, then consolidated. There was a minor recovery after 1, 1.30 p.m. Several stocks actually recovered after that, but the index was in a very, very narrow range yet again. VIX up yet again. It actually fell towards the end after 1 p.m. Like I mentioned, a lot of stocks recovered and a bit stability returned. By the time of this weekly expiry, I think VIX will cross 20 probably. Result-wise, DRL Q4 net up 36%. Good handsome growth by Dr. Eddie's. Merico after yesterday's results was up 10%. In fact, the entire consumer pack was up a lot today. One word of caution when you see these stocks going up, the right side shows the Merico graph. It has actually in the entire year been up just 7.35% out of which 10% is just today. In terms of US market, yesterday I had mentioned that Apple, my gut feel says it will correct. Yesterday, only Apple corrected, rest everything was up. Nvidia was up 4%, Meta up 3%. Markets in US today also are looking slightly positive only, but on the very low side. VIX is however up, so there may be a reversal later today and the markets may come under pressure. S&P and Nasdaq have been up for three straight days and there's a profit booking due now. Sector snapshot, Sea of red led by real estate, most profit booking came under real estate. TLF, Macrotech, Godrej, Prestige, everything was battered, hammered and rolled out of shape today. So was 6.2%. All these are the biggest builders in India, heavy profit booking. Most of them are still near their 52 week high. There is a lot of profit still on the table. People with long positions should be very careful in real estate. Renewable energy, everything down. Metal and mining, no exceptions. Everything down 2, 3, 4%. Let's go to beverages. Everything down, Varun beverages, 4%. This stock has run up significantly in the last one year. And there is again, lot of profit on the table. Beware if you are long on this stock. Aerospace and defense has corrected a lot in last 6, 7 days. However, still the stocks are very close to 52 week high. This could continue to get battered. However, the recovery also will probably be fastest in aerospace and defense whenever markets change direction. Electrical utilities down again, big cuts, 5% kind of cuts in most large stocks. There was no place to hide today except the consumer pack, personal household goods, everything on the top, HUL, Godrej, Dabur, everything was up 5%. Merico for some reason appears under food and tobacco, that was up 10%. Again, if you see Avenue and Medplus, they move in pairs. Nifty 50 index, 35 stocks red, 15 stocks green. What was up? TCS, Infosys, ITC, HUL, Kotak, another 1.2% up. Wipro, Nestle, Tech Mahindra, Britannia. Rest everything down and down a lot. Yesterday, if you recall, in this graph, there were six stocks in the 7200 percent zone, 12 in 8200 and 12 in 9200 zone. Today that 12 has come down to 4, this 12 has become 18 and this 6 has become 9. Significant stocks in one day have changed trajectory. Many of them have jumped left. HDFC life has actually moved to the 0 to 10 percent zone today. This zone had 0 stocks yesterday. As the markets continue to fall, you will see increasingly stocks from the right side move towards left. This may be a good help in determining which stocks are likely to fall more if the markets crack because those stocks are the ones which have run up a lot and are still carrying some profits. 
इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम एच यू एल टाइटन ब्रिटेनिया ऑल ऑफ देम हैड वेरी हाई वॉल्यूम्स निफ्टी नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी आई हैव सॉर्टेड फर्स्ट ऑन द ग्रीन्स मेरिको अप गोदरेज अप डाबर अप वी टॉक्ड अबाउट दैम मेरिको इज इन द एट्टी परसेंट बैंड गोदरेज इज इन द नाइन्टी परसेंट बैंड इन निफ्टी नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी इलेवन स्टॉक्स आर इन द नाइन्टी टू हंड्रेड जोन एटीन आर इन एटी टू हंड्रेड जोन सिग्निफिकेंट स्टॉक्स नियरली सिक्सटी परसेंट आर वेरी क्लोज टू फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई स्टिल वॉट इज नॉट बर्जर्स नंबर आर नॉट लुकिंग गुड एट ऑल दैट इज इन द बॉटम मोस्ट जोन एस बी आई कार्ड इज नॉट परफॉर्मिंग एट ऑल पी आई इंडस्ट्रीज श्री सीमेंट्स दे आर ऑन द लोअर साइड अदानी विलमर देर वॉज अज रनअप इन अदानी विलमर इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स ऑल्सो नोट दैट वाइल एच यू एल इज अप अ लॉट प्रॉक्टर एंड गैम्बल एक्चुअली इज नॉट डूइंग वेरी वेल इट इज रफली मिड वे इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फॉल्स एस आर एफ फेल मोस्ट फॉलोड बाय वरुण बिवरेजेस जाइडस पी एन बी पी एन बी फेल अलॉट येस्टरडे ऑल्सो आई ओ सी टी वी एस मोटर्स टॉरेंट ऑल डाउन नियरली फोर परसेंट देर वॉज नो प्लेस टू हाइड एक्सेप्ट दीज बॉटम थ्री इन द निफ्टी फिफ्टी टूडे बैंक निफ्टी बिसाइड्स कोटक महिंद्रा विच इज रिकवरिंग आफ्टर द रिजल्ट एवरीथिंग डाउन एनी वेयर बिटवीन वन टू फोर परसेंट निफ्टी आई टी इंडेक्स टी सी एस इन्फोसिस विप्रो हेल्थ द मार्केट टूगेदर एच सी एल कंटिन्यू टू फॉल टूडे आई हैव एडेड द पी एस यू बैंक इंडेक्स एज वेल एवरी थिंग रेड एस बी आई फेल द लीस्ट एवरी थिंग एल्स टू टू फोर परसेंट हाउ डिड माई पोर्टफोलियो डू टूडे प्रिटी मच द सेम स्टोरी डाउन माइनस फाइव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट नाउ आइर मार्केट्स विल रिकवर विच विल टेक दिस टू ग्रीन और आई वेट फॉर सम मोर टाइम बिफोर आई एवरेज डाउन आई हैव लिमिटेड मनी लेफ्ट सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड दैट राइट नाउ वॉन्ट सम एम्यूनेशन लेफ्ट विद मी इन केस द मार्केट्स कंटिन्यू टू फॉल बिफोर आई बिफोर आई एंड जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू रिमाइंड दैट गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर आर वेरी क्लोज टू देर ऑल टाइम हाइज दे मे नॉट बी बैड प्लेसेज टू हाइड एंड पुट सम मनी फॉर नाउ इफ यू एंटिसिपेट मार्केट्स विल फॉल अलॉट If you have been following my videos, you would know that a lot of my money right now is in gold. I moved significant part of my equity portfolio to gold about six seven months back, roughly a little before Diwali. In terms of where markets are heading, there is no attempt from the side of the regulator or DIIs right now to rescue the market. Today also, I expect that FIIs would have sold. In fact, today selling may be high. DIIs are either having no money, like I mentioned yesterday, or they have paused on the buying part. In fact, my trading mind says that DIIs actually might join the selling party right now, and you might soon see FIIs and DIIs both dumping stocks on the street. The only loser will be retail, be it via mutual funds or be it cash buyers. Be very, be very cautious with your money. Be very cautious with your approach to average down. Don't average down at just five percent falls. Wait for bigger cuts, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five percent kind of ones. If you have not seen such large cuts, these are very common in falling markets. If markets recover from here, it's okay. You will probably be back to where you were last week. This fall seems to be different from the ones that we have seen in the last one year. There is no buying coming corresponding to the FIA selling. Tomorrow is Bank Nifty expiry. Banks will be very very volatile tomorrow. Thursday will be weekly options expiry. That too is expected to be vol very volatile. For now, stay alert, stay on money, have cash in hand. Don't spend the cash in a hurry. Market will probably give you opportunity. If it doesn't, no worries. You will be back to where you were last week. Don't worry about losing this two, three, four percent kind of gains if the markets recover suddenly. Better be prepared for larger falls. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.